Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt Swords and welcome back to my channel. I figured I'd make a tutorial. It's 2.43 a.m. and I just said why not. Um, I want to show you guys how to record on OBS or how to stream and essentially you could do directly live to YouTube. You could do directly live to Twitch this way and you can also just hit recording as you see on my screen. This is the program you just need to record. Here, start streaming, start recording. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. So first thing you want to do is get OBS. A link is in the description. Click the first link. It goes to OBS. Download, install. Once you have OBS, go ahead and open it. It looks like this OBS Studio. Open that up. Should look like this. Next, you want to click settings at the bottom right and click output. After that, you want to click recording and then you pretty much just want to copy my settings. Go ahead and pause the video. Once you get here, you can pretty much look at these settings, try to copy them. Same thing here when the, when you go to the audio, you pretty much just want to go and put each one to 320. So just click each one 320 on the audio tab. Make sure you're on the output mode advanced. Otherwise, you won't be able to see this. Now, you may experience issues if you have a lower end PC. So if that's the case, you might want to try this CBR setting bit rate 2500. This is if you're streaming and you have a very low bit rate. The same can be said if you don't want to do that and you want to do CBR and you want to record in a lower uh, setting. But in this case, we're going to do CQP 26. You don't have to do that. You could do CBR and do 2500. And if you're lags, then do this, please. Make sure your keyframe interval is two and make sure all these are about the same. After that, you can do apply, press OK. Oh, and there's actually a couple more settings before you continue. Make sure you select your desktop audio device, the audio that you want to come through your speakers or your headphone. Mic slash aux, you can do this right here. You can set whatever you want for your mic or whatever you want. And then this tab video, you want to click this. You want to make sure that your streams or recordings are at 60 FPS and your base canvas resolution is 1920 by 1080. Please ignore what I have here. This is set for a higher resolution, a higher, more expensive setup. The last setting you want to do is if you're streaming, you want to go ahead and select Twitch for Twitch or YouTube for YouTube. And you pretty much just want to connect your account. And that's pretty much it. Very straightforward stuff. There's a couple things to note right here on your mic. Make sure this is moving when you're talking. If you're having any issues with that, go back into settings, go to audio and make sure the right device is set. If you still don't see it, you can click these three dots, click properties and make sure it's set here. And you're also going to want to click this and click advanced audio properties and you want to make sure that this is set up correctly if you want your audio coming on the same track you just do one one if you want it separated your audio on the bottom for your voice and then your discord or whatever else you can have all these set for each little thing and you could have it a little different in this case just for this tutorial it's very simple this is going to go on the same track so normally for a more advanced setup you wouldn't want this because you would want all the audio separated when you move it to your editor but if you're just starting out, this is okay because you want to just learn and get started. So in this instance, I'm just going to leave it off like that. Just do one, one. And just for those that are having an issue where you only see one side of your mic coming through, in case it's like stereo and it's coming through one side of the headphones, you can click mono. That should fix that. Uh, I don't need to do that in this case, so I don't need to do that. The last thing you want to know is how to add your images, display capture, effects, and whatnot. You can go right, you can go here, do add by right clicking or clicking this plus sign. And you can add a display capture to record your screen. You do game capture to add your game gameplay. And you can even add text on the screen. And you can even add a browser source, which we could get to in another video if you guys want to do an updated video. And essentially, you can add donations, you can add alerts, and all sorts of pop-ups when people donate and send messages through and have it on the screen through the browser source. Once you have all this in here set, you just do start streaming, start recording, and that's it. This was a very quick, simple tutorial. I hope this helped you guys. This was one of the easiest, quickest videos I could show just to basically get up and running and making content as fast as possible. So if you guys like this video and you want to see a more in-depth video about this, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, also let me know in the comments below. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe if this helped you. Thanks, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.